is certainly hard to believe, but the holiday season is just a few months away. And today we are talking about ways you can give back. We are joined live by Michael Baldelli from the Salvation Army and James Tracer from the Lions Club. And of course, we're talking about the Salvation Army's Red Kettle campaign. Thank you guys so much for being here. You're welcome. Thank, thank you. So, Michael, tell us a bit about this campaign. A lot of people might already know about it. You've been doing it for many, many years, but give us the breakdown. Yeah, well, believe it or not, today is 100 days until Christmas. So we thought it would wow. be a perfect time to kick off our Red Kettle campaign. I started in 1891 in San Francisco as a way to provide a Christmas meal for those who are hungry. And over 130 years later, it's become an iconic Christmas, part of Christmas season, and it's around the entire world. And perhaps the most iconic part is this red bell that we have right here. A lot of your volunteers are known to, you know, ring those throughout the communities, right? Exactly, yeah, you'll find our bell ringers outside of many stores and, and some of our community partners. And the great thing about those red kettles is any donations made to those red kettles go right back into the community. And it helps provide you know, different types of food and utility assistance, rental assistance, all sorts of ways to help people in the community. Um, not just around the Christmas season, but through the entire year. And that's one of the most important parts. And James, you're actually one of the volunteers. You know this bell very well. Very well. Tell us a bit about your experience with the Salvation Army and specifically this campaign. Sure. Uh, Lions Club of New Haven has been involved with bell ringing probably for over 40 years. Um, I've been involved with the, uh, the campaign by the, uh, with the New Haven Lions Club for over 20 years and chairing it. Um, it's a great experience and a great way. Lions motto is we serve. And this is certainly a, a great organization that we, uh, we help. Yeah, it's great work that you do. And Michael, of course, your volunteers are the backbone of what you do. Yeah, we can't do what we do without our volunteers. Uh, last year alone, we had over 9,000 volunteer hours at the Bell, um, which is an, an amazing. We would love to boost that even more. Uh, the more the more people we have standing kettle, the more funds we can raise and, and help people, which is nowadays more than the need is greater than ever. Right, absolutely. And James, talk to us about, you know, the fulfillment side of this, being a volunteer, knowing how much you help people by the end of the holiday season. What does that mean to you? Well, it's a, it's a part of my holiday season, and certainly the volunteers we get from the Lions Club, they all feel the same way. It's it's a chance to uh, and give back to the community. It's part of their community uh, the holiday spirit, I guess, in terms of uh, getting out there each year to ring the bell. We have a lot of repeat volunteers every year in terms of uh, helping, so it's great. And Michael, if people may be at home wondering how they can start to help, uh, w what's the first place to go to get started? Yeah, so we have a contact form right now. It goes directly to a, a, a form to fill out. Somebody will reach out to you very shortly. You can find it at salarmy.us slash ringbells, or you can go to our website at salvationarmyct.org. There's lots of information there, right on the homepage, on how you can be a bell ringer and other ways you can help. And I know you already said this, but really you're in so many communities across Connecticut, right? Yeah, we're in every community uh, where there's not a brick and mortar Salvation Army. There's some sort of community partner that we work with to, to help people. Um, and like I said, the, the need is greater than ever. We've had some community partners that have closed their doors, and so we won't be able to ring bells there. Uh, so we're always looking for new companies to partner with and, and new places to, to bring some Christmas cheer to people. Well, that's wonderful. So, you know, the individual can help, but also companies can reach out Absolutely. as well. Groups and families. Now, before we go, we have to ring the bell, I would say, don't you think? Yeah, Jim, you're the, you're the pro. <laughs> Come on, Jim. He's a pro. There we go. And we have Perfect. one for you, too. It's a little smaller. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I appreciate it. It's, it's crazy that we're thinking about the holiday season, but with such a good cause, it's important to start early and really get the ball rolling here. So we have your website right there on screen, uh -huh. uh, salarmy.us slash ringbells. You can find out more there. All right.